Hi, it's Kelly here. And I wanted to show you uh, what the Lukoski disks look like. The antennas, the multi-wave oscillator, MWO oscillator uh, antennas look like. But first I wanted to show you a couple pictures from his book, The Secret of Life, so that you can get an idea just how powerful these simple looking things can be. And uh, the picture I should warn you that they're a little bit graphic uh, because it's a lesion on a woman's face. She had terminal cancer. And then you'll see in the picture, in the after picture, that the tumor is gone. Um, it's black and white, so it won't be quite as horrible as you might expect. This is the book itself in paperback, translated into English. Got that on Amazon, The Secret of Life. So here are the pictures, and I'll be st might be staring around from the side so that I make sure that I've got the pictures showing in a way that you can see it. Uh, let me pull back a little bit. Um, and you can see, obviously, the lesion. But also notice her skin on her cheek, or the cheekbone and, and down below, how, how the difference is. And then on her chin, how it's smooth on her chin afterwards. And in her upper lip, how the, the wrinkles seem to have been dissipated there. And this is all from uh, 15 minutes of treatment three times a week for three weeks. The pictures were taken after a month. The healing just, I guess, continued after the three weeks. Uh, he also mentions in the book, I think someone lost over 200 pounds using the same invention. So let me show you an example of what an MWO antenna looks like. This is one example. This one is four inches in diameter. You see where my thumb is, there's an opening there, and it alternates where the opening is. And that's so that the spark can jump from one side to the other. That's just the properties of copper that these sparks do that, particularly when you put it in rotation. You know, the Hoover Dam uses uh, turbines of copper, and 17 turbines turn a non-electrical river, Colorado River, into enough electricity for 1.4 million commercial and consumer uh, customers provides electricity in, in parts of three huge states. So this is what one of them looks like. They can be different sizes. Uh, I give you an example here of another one that's a combination of of a, a smaller one, and but it's called a it's called organite. So you can put that on the organite, and then what you can do is to glue this on here. In the center, you can put, you can get multiple ones of these, glue, you know, stick them together, as many as you want. If you want to add that to it, you can add that to it. Here's uh, another thing you can be added to it. Um, it's just, a, it's a small one. You can stick that on there if you wanted to, and uh, like that. It's all up to you how you want to do it. These the red ones only cost about five euros, I believe. Maybe, uh, yeah, this is the white thing. That's a sticker that you use, um, you know, for wall hangings. And this little black thing is something that where this was being used. So that's how I stuck them together on there. Um, so now on, on, a, on a vertical fan, and I'll show that to you in a moment. You would want to use uh, super glue to hold these together, let it cure for maybe about three hours. Well, well, actually, these together you can they'll cure uh, in uh, a couple minutes. You glue those together. After you get everything glued together on here, then go to the fan because the fan's got a moving part, and you want to get it right and you want to get it centered. Now, here's here's an example of a fan that I have glued a a cup to that I can put jewelry in. Jewelry is great. You can put diamonds, rubies, emeralds, uh, sapphires, uh, pearls. Um, and all of that, because they have energies that they release when they're rotating. So, so this is what the fan looks like without the plastic cup. It has a metal screen I removed. See, there's the metal screen on both sides. Uh, you, you go to the one that doesn't have the insignia on it, and you unscrew that, those. You can do it practically with a butter knife and take that screen off. And then glue on there what you what you want to glue on. So you can glue these on there. 
one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the more the merrier. And if you if you want to get one of these, you can get one of those and put that on there. If you want to get the red ones, get the red ones. Um, there's also something called the Vortex, uh, Flanagan Vortex. Those will do the same thing, the same thing. So, you know, there's all kinds of ways that you can do this. You can put this, these things on ceiling fans. You know, you could, you could uh, tape these onto or glue them onto your ceiling fan, and uh, that's fine. Uh, you know, if you want to do it on a, on, a, on this kind of fan, you see here, I have a big eight-inch plate on there. Uh, I actually have a hole drilled in the center and put that on there. And uh, I think it has, yeah, it has a tiny pyramid on it <laughs> in the center. And so all these different ways that you can do this. And as you've seen from the photo, it does the job. Um, or oh, I, I could show you, it's, it's, it's not very good pictures, but I'll show you what his original invention looked like. Um, give me a moment here to hold this properly so you can see it. Uh, this one picture over here, there it is, turned on. And it's like a big fan. It looks like a big fan. And then over here, if you look closely, you can see two of them. And, and what, it, you pull them apart a little bit, and people would sit in between them, and they would bring the healing to them for all kinds of things, ulcers, migraines, all sorts of things. So, he said in his book that if uh, there was movement, it would, it would increase the power, increase the strength. But somewhere in this book, it's one line, I, don't, I didn't underline it, I can't tell you the page number, but it's in there towards the back. Um, so anyway, um, and he was right. He didn't get a chance to do it. He wrote the book in 39, and, and he got hit by a car in New York City in 1941, and that was the end of him. He, they, he didn't want to go to the hospital. They took him to the hospital, and two days later, he died. Some people say it's kind of suspicious. I, you know, you know, two years ago, I might not have thought that to be true, but these days, we don't know what to believe anymore, what kind of forces are out there, right? Because we've seen what's happened in the last two, two years. By the way, these things greatly in, improve your uh, immune system. So your your body and the cell membranes are negatively charged. It's a negative field, which is great because every virus ever created has negative needles on it. And so when the negative hits the negative, they are repelled from each other. This raises the negative field of your cell membranes. So no virus can get in and make you sick. Viruses have a positive role. When a cell dies, they go in and they devour it, and then your secondary immune system takes care of it. When you don't have a, when too many of your cells don't have the proper negative field, then your secondary immune system cannot keep up, and then you feel symptoms. But you can keep this keep your, your things uh, clear. By the way, since March of uh, 2020, you, you may have heard that the flu disappeared. Well, that's because we had a bunch of these running. I, at the time that I was selling this stuff, and I don't sell it anymore, so don't ask, a uh, lady could set up 10 of these with uh, eight inches, like, like I've got running back over here on the fan. Uh, 10 of them. And that's when the flu disappeared around the world, flu season. And then she had to put them back in storage because she was in a, in a landlord situation. She didn't want the electricity bill being too high. And uh, and then the flu started creeping up a little bit, a little bit. But if, if, if you do this, you can get back down to nothing again. So, so go ahead and do this. Like I say, oh, I, got, I got these on Amazon. They're just put in vertical fans. Uh, the most I paid is $14.99. This is a little over four inches. I think it's 120 millimeters, and 100 millimeters is uh, four inches. So, with a four-inch disc, it'll fit on there just fine, and it'll rotate. 
and without any problems. And uh, if you need to take the blades off, take, cut them off, that's fine. They, they don't need the blades. And it's amazing what happens. Amazing. My neighbor, once I started doing this kind of thing, my neighbor anonymously started bringing my trash can from down the hill up back to my back door. I have a broken back. I'm 71 years old, so she took mercy on me. And she didn't start doing that until after these things were running. Today, uh, overnight, we had 25 mile an hour winds or something like that. It blew over uh, a couple of mop buckets I had outside. And she had returned them back to my apartment up the hill, tucked them into the corner, you know, between the, you know, by the porch and the, and the wall so that the wind wouldn't blow them anymore. And, and she took the mops, got them out of the leaves, put them on the porch, you know, the mop portion on there carefully and then alongside the wall. And the trash can was up against the wall. My neighbor's trash can had blown over. Mine might have too. It had trash in it. If it did, she'd put it all back together again. And it's like brand new. So this really improves mood. It improves the mood. It, it, it reduces irritation. And I can tell you proof-wise how that works. Two, three summers ago, we had a, a patch of 99 degree temperatures every day for two weeks. Well, I did an experiment. I'm the test pilot. I was wearing three layers, including a wool vest. And sometimes I turn the vest inside out so the wool would be against my body. And I was wearing a wool cap sometimes, or this cap, and I would have some of these energy devices in it. Right? So I'm going to the store, and the first thing out of everybody's mouth is how hot it is, right? They're irritated. It's just like, oh my God. It's the only topic of conversation. Except to me, it always caught me by surprise because even though I was dressed so warmly and I'm hot blooded normally, I wasn't feeling the. I mean, I was feeling, I felt warm, but I, I didn't feel irritated. I didn't feel, it wasn't, a, it wasn't an issue, you know? Well, two weeks later, I go outside. It's, it's temperature, it's, it's night, evening time. The temperature's down to 90 degrees. And I didn't have my gear on. I wasn't thinking about it. And I was walking with a friend. Didn't get 25, 30 yards. And I'm like, oh, my God, this heat, it's so irritating. That, and that was the word that I used, irritating. You know, uh, you know that's not the sun doesn't do that. I'm 71 years old. I've been through plenty of summers. It doesn't. The sun doesn't do that. Why is it feeling irritating? And it's because of all the electronics, the 5G, the 4G, the 3G, the smart. I call them smart beaters. The smart. Everyone else calls them smart meters. Uh, the Wi-Fi, all that stuff. It's irritating to us. So as soon as I stopped the protection, I started feeling it. However, now that I have the stuff rotating everywhere, I go to Walmart two miles away. It used to be that any time I go to the Walmart, every single time, some different part of my body would react in pain. And I'd leave the store and it would go away. And one time it hurt so bad, I felt like if I took one step, it hurt so bad that I would fall over. And I asked them to bring me a cart. All right. Well, now I can go in there without a problem. In spite of the metal rod in my back that acts like an antenna to pick up all that stuff. So if we want to have less irritation in our lives, in the members of our family who might be feeling irritated, our neighbors, our bosses, our employees, just people we run into in general, wherever, we can get rid of that irritation. And when people aren't irritated, they don't want to fight. They don't want to kill. They don't want to go to war. You get it? So if we get these things going, we can do that. And it doesn't take that many. You know, the flu around the world has practically disappeared. I say it's because of these things. We're spinning and rotating. You could say, well, no, they count all those other cases count the flu cases is that other thing that starts with the letter C. Well, they, they actually do count the flu cases and they report them on CDC every week. They do. They, they do like 
you know, they'll report on 30, 40, 50,000, 100,000 flu tests that were done each and every week during flu season. So I don't think that's it. And is it, right now, the, the flu cases have gone way down, and so have the ones with the letter C are down to almost nothing. They're like, I don't know, one thirteenth, one fifteenth of what they were a couple months ago. So they're both dropping. Right? So let's get let's get to doing this. And let's heal ourselves, our families, and our neighborhoods, and our workplaces, and the whole world. Because this stuff goes, it goes. There's there's something called torsion fields. When things are rotating, they put off a two-dimensional field. They say it goes faster than the speed of light because there's no mass in a two-dimensional vector. So it can go, it just goes. It goes, it's hit back before it started. So it goes everywhere in every direction. There's no inch of the earth that isn't covered. So one of these things going by you is having an effect on 7.8 billion people on the planet and all the pets, all the dogs and kitties and the birds and the, and the butterflies and the bees and, and, the, and the food. You know, they say that there's going to be shortages of food. Well, we can grow lots of really healthy, more nutritious food so that people eat less, you know, because I lost 80 pounds, you know, without trying to diet and, um, and I don't exercise. And I, I attribute it to these things, these kinds of things. So we will need to eat less, but we'll be able to grow more. And 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 the bees and the butterflies will come back. A lot of places they they, they don't seem to be many around lately. We have love bugs here, and they come out every two. They come out for two weeks a year. In the last five years, I hadn't seen a love bug. Then last year. You know, the two years ago, the love bugs were out for about two days, not as many. And then this past summer, the full two weeks, love bugs. So on that note, we're, we're going to end this story with love bugs. Love bugs. You take care. God bless all the love bugs. <laughs>